Hi, this is Ryan with Stonefly Aquatic Nursery. Today we are working with a Sagittarius species. The common name is bull tongue, but the Latin name is Sagittaria lancifolia. It's pretty common and can be found in most areas where there's muddy soils on a regular basis. Um, meaning if you have a pond that during the raining season has a high flood event and has a wetland area, and then dries out during the summer, you probably won't see this plant. But if that area stays wet throughout the year, I wouldn't be surprised if this plant was there. So we've got a lot that have grown out of the pots that we propagated during the fall and summer of last year. And they're starting to bust some of those pots. And they're also starting to outgrow the space that they've had, which is preventing other plants from growing as well in those pots. So we're trying to do two things, propagate new ones to prevent breaking pots, and then use those propagations to allow the other potted plants to continue to grow well. So let's go down to the box. Okay, here we are. So in this box, we've got a mixture of two or three different species, but we're going to be focusing on the bull tongue that we were talking about earlier. So all these pots right here, and right here are the Sagittaria or the bull tongue that we'll be working with today. And just a quick reminder, it's the middle of February. That's why a lot of these plants are dormant and the leaves are just shut down and looking really brown. But if we look closer down here, we've got some that were submerged that are starting to get some new growth. So we're going to take these and move them over to a new uh, box that we've started propagating these out of that's shallower year round. So all that I'm looking for is a plant with really, really good roots. So this one right here looks pretty good. This one right here. Now this right here is called a tuber. And that's something that waterfowl will really go after. Uh, they like to eat. And that's one of the reasons why we grow Sagittarius in general. Um, but this bull tongue does really well and produces those relatively often uh, from what we've seen. So for now, I'm just gonna grab these two or three, they're all stuck together. We're gonna move over to this shallow box. So we planted some last year and you can see some of them right here along the sides, job grasshopper. And they still got a little green to them, but they're for all intents and purposes, shut down for the winter. Now, you'll notice we've got this little strand in between uh, so what we call these are runners so for example this if this were the main plant the original plant i would call that the mother plant and then this second offshoot right here would be called a runner and then we would have another runner right here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to break off this stem right there and then wrap this up as good as i can with one hand That is beautiful. <clears throat> and we'll just take our finger and push that root down. And we wanna make sure any white part that we're seeing is under dirt. So even the base of this leaf where it gets white, we wanna make sure that is completely under the soil. There is such a thing as planting it too deep, um, but for the most part, if it's white, that's what you want under the soil. And that'll be easier to tell once spring really starts to come in and these white portions on the base of the leaves and the stems becomes much more defined. So that's just a quick rundown of how we're propagating uh, these Sagittarius species or bull tongue uh, for the common name. And they really seem to do really well and they're really hardy. Um, like I was saying earlier, they can be found in a lot of different places. So if you have any questions, let us know down in the comments. I appreciate you sticking around and watching the video. Please uh, consider subscribing. And if you liked it, hit that like button and we'll see you in the next video.